Alright guys, Unknown Fury back. Today we are going to be playing Dead Island, uh, what is it called? Definitive Edition or something like that. I believe it was called Definitive. <laughs> Remastered, whatever, the better graphic looking one. So, haven't played this in years. The last time I remember playing through this whole game was probably back in middle school, which is a long time ago for me. So, this will be fun. I don't remember a lot of the game, but uh, I'm looking forward to rediscovering everything and seeing the story. So, let's get started here. Handy dandy Xbox controller. Uh, play. I already have my mindset. We're using Logan. I like Logan. New game. Logan is your throwing expert. Perna is your firearms expert. You got Xian, sharp weapon expert. And Sam B, your blunt weapon expert. But, oh yeah, Ryder. But Ryder has his own story. I don't think you could play with him throughout the game. All right, Logan, throwing expert. Here we go. Oh man, I used to be on top of the world, brother. All pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in 2004. <laughs> yeah, man, I beat out Dennis Quaid and Matthew McConaughey for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. So I drank a few beers now and then, popped the occasional pill. That's nothing compared to what the team quacks you shoot me up with just so I could play. And sometimes I just need to numb the pain, you know what I'm saying? My biggest vice was speed. No, not meth, buddy. Adrenaline. I blew every penny I had on the fastest cars I could find. Just so you know, I'm a damn good driver. If that asshole I was street racing hadn't sideswiped me, I never would have crashed. And that, uh, that poor girl would still be alive. That's right. That's right, it's his goddamn fault I shattered my leg in six goddamn places. So I had a few drinks in me, so what the fuck? I drive drunk better than I do sober anyway. Of course, I couldn't play worse shit after that. After I got out of jail, I canned my ass, I'd have violated the morals clause on my goddamn contract. Ended up playing semi-pro in fucking Canada. <sighs> but I'm still a name. Oh yeah, I'm still a celebrity. That's why they wanted me to promote their blood drive here. That's why they fucking flew me, first class, halfway around the goddamn world. Because hmm. my name still means something. Logan Carter is no goddamn douchebag. <laughs> yeah. Logan Carter. That's who we're gonna be playing? I ain't no goddamn douchebag. <laughs> Anyways, I saw a little, uh, this, uh... Well, you can't see it behind my head here, but... Underneath my head where that, uh... There's like another menu down there. It says play in one punch mode. No idea what that means. But we're not gonna do that. It sounds like it sounds cheater. <laughs> New game started. Is there like no selection for like hard mode or anything like that? I thought there would be. But here we are. We're here to help promote a blood drive. And I'm sure I got pretty drunk, woke up on my bed, and here we go. New quest, Chaos Overture, leave your room. All right, yeah, we could do that, that's easy enough. Um, do I need to reconnect my controller or what? The mouse works. Let me try reconnecting the controller, hold on. Otherwise, we're going to play mouse and keyboard, which I was actually preferring not to do. Let me check. Settings. Controls. Mouse. Oh, okay. Confirm. Does it work? There you go. Yeah. Playing old school with the controller. What we got? Medium med kit. Take that. Because this is originally meant to be a console game. So we're going to play it like a console game. Anything else in this room for me to pick up? Some alcohol. Nothing. Alright, let's get going. Chaos Overture. Find the emergency staircase. Well, it must be down that way. Oh, well, let's search all these. Well, what do we got here? Because this is a crafting game, guys, right? Crafting game. You're gonna need a bunch of little bits and pieces to make better weapons, upgrades, and resources. So we're gonna gather what we can. All 
right? Got twelve dollars. Who leaves money on top of the bathroom counter, man? Seven dollars. A battery. Thirteen bucks. Twenty-eight bucks for a phone. Oh, I remember this. You gotta time it just right. In the rip. Ah, man, it's like right before it. There you go. That one was perfect. <laughs> what we got here? Five dollars. A belt. Press down to toggle your flashlight. Okay. Flashlight has a meter. Yeah, it does have a meter, but it recharges. Chaos Overture, find the elevator lobby. Alright, let's go find that elevator lobby. Okay. Finding some good stuff here, LP400 battery. Lemon juice? Oh, heck yeah. No, I'm kidding. I don't know what lemon juice is for. <laughs> Can't go there. Got more boxes here. Hey, I got a backpack on. That's nice. Screaming. They were trying to fly. It looks like a failed attempt. Chaos Overture. Go to the elevator shaft. Alright. Couldn't search this. Six bucks. Six bucks. Six bucks. Eight dollars. <laughs> Six bucks. Nine bucks. Seven bucks. Ten bucks. A whole bunch of money. All right, here's the elevator. Chaos Overture. Open the elevator hatch. All right, let's do that. What the heck? Hold on, hold on. There you go. I guess I gotta be quite some distance from it. Open. Inside we go. Zombies, oh, Ooh. that was close. I can see it through the camera. Feeling all right, mate? Chaos Overture, get inside the elevator. We are inside the I'll elevator. Introduce myself later. Right now, we got to get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're going to have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. Now. Press right stick to crouch. Chaos Overture. Follow the voice's instructions. Well, I'll do that, but as we're going along, we are going to collect ourselves. Uh, uh, and what do we got here? A lot of good stuff. I think I remember about Dead Island, like the uniqueness of it, because you don't think of zombie games being like out in the bright, you know, daylight kind of deal. It's always dark, gloomy, shadows, stuff like that. So that's why it was pretty cool. Still kept its scary nature, even though it's in like a kind of a positive environment. You're on vacation in like Hawaii kind of deal. Eee. 
It's got a bad uh, skin condition right there. Too busy collecting stuff. Oof. Achievement unlocked. There and back again. Oh wait, it wasn't unlocked. It was progress. I'm seeing progress. Let me know when I complete it. <laughs> the lifeguard said no. You heard what he said. Do you hear what's going on out there? You won't go inside here. I'm doing it. No! Did my oh, body tell you? Move. No, stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Not the head! Not your bloody head! I ain't asking you again! Ah, oh, man. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Sweet Mary, Mother of Jesus. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? Yeah, don't do that. Fuck, I should have never listened to Sinemoy. It's like Those things came for us, and Sinemoy went out to kill them alone. Good for him. Oh my god, what if he's Margaret. dead? Why won't anyone help him? You can't just Can let him die out there. Anyone? He saved your life. You owe him your life. All right, all right. New quest: Blood on the Sand. Help the lifeguard get rid of the undead. All right, let's go do that. I need right here. You going out there? Are you nuts? Yes. You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way. Yeah, get you the hell out of the way. Weapon? You need to find a weapon. Why won't anyone These do These hands, anything? man. These hands are the weapon. All right, we got a paddle right here. All right, this is fucking crazy. On three, one, two, two fucking three. three. Oh man! Oh, got sucker punched. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you like that? Who's next? Oh. Right, let's go help this dude. Nice. That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Act one. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Hello? You were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? <laughs> I forget. Hello? Hello? How games used to be and how far it's come oh, God since. damn it. Like acting and all that kind of I stuff. I found you. You beat up pretty bad. Thanks, Jesus. <laughs> 
You have completed the prologue and the co-op mode is now available. Enter the lobby from the game menu where you can find and join other players. Try fighting zombies with friends for a completely new experience. Uh, if any of you guys are on my Steam account, well, friends with me on Steam, you're more than welcome to hop in in here anytime you want. So, yeah, just do whenever, but I'm going to keep it on friends only. Only want people I know. Level up. Chapter 1. Bad. Welcome to Banoi. Banoi? I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh. It's okay. Oh, you too? Oh, it's okay. Just seeing what everybody's doing in here first. This is the end of day. Oh, what's that? Judgment day. Backed. Benoit Herald, excerpt number one. It's in the book of Revelations. Oh man, I should have left with the others. Wake up. Wake Probably should have, huh? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Got an energy drink? Guy going crazy in the bathroom? But yeah. And the dead arose Fuck, and climbed from James. their graves. Didn't think you were gonna make it. All right, looks like next thing to do is talk to Cinemoy here. But first, we're gonna level up. How we level up? There you go. Up on the D-pad. Available upgrades one. If I remember right, Fury is for eh, unknown Fury. Uh, but Fury is for your your special. So on Fury, you can hit two enemies with one thrown weapon, and your throwing range is 15 meters. That's like your specials bar. Combat heavy hitter. Blunt weapons are now more efficient and effective. Blunt weapon damage plus five percent. Survivor, you chance to retrieve thrown weapons fifteen percent. All right. I don't get this. So. Seems like he's like he has like a perk here for throwing range of melee weapons, one-handed weapon damage. Then over here he has a sharp weapons damage. Okay. Trying to figure out how I want to build this guy up. The only one I can say for sure that would probably going to be used is this one, boomerang. Because he's gonna be a throwing expert, we're gonna want to retrieve our weapons by chance, you know. No, oh, never mind. We'll go here, work our way down. Unlocks the next branch. All right, all right, that's cool. But we're gonna want one-handed yeah, weapons. It seems it seems like bad. we can perk up the uh, damage by going one-handed. Name's John Cinnamoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I'm I didn't believe it. But then I found you, and I saw like the many bite horror bites. games. Well, zombie you have no games. symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? I don't know who you are, or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. You got it. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. You got it. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Of course you can. Will you help me? Of course I will. <laughs> All right, quest number one: Passport to Life. Bring the security key card. Oh, uh, yeah, security key card to the lifeguard tower from bungalow number eleven. Difficulty two. Experience four hundred. Start now. Yeah. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in bungalow eleven by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune. 
But that don't mean you can't die. I don't believe you. I'm invincible. <laughs> All right. Passport to life. Let's get it going. We need to go to Bungalow 11. Oh, it looks like there's a quest tracker on my bottom left right there. And if I recall, you can carry more than one weapon. Press right bumper to toggle between quick inventory slots. I am. I am. And I believe you should be able to hold it and you can select which one you want to use. So we got four inventory slots at the moment. And blunt weapons are going to be our best friend. But let's head over to where we need to be. What's this? Broomstick? Does more damage than the weapon I'm using right now. Did not need to drink that, but all right. What's up? Oh god! Cool. Hi. <laughs> Come and get it. All right. Next says go down this way. Nope, stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Good. Good zombie. Oh, energy drinks heal you. Alright. So, we'll go down this way. It's a party. Alright, we got those two. Ah. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Got him. Alright, next. So that's Bungalow 7. Nope, stay on the ground. Stay put. Thank you. He's got a stick. Ow. He dead? He's dead. Took a couple hits. Take that wooden plank. It does a good amount of damage. This should heal me, right? Yep, full health. Anything useful? <laughs> Ugh, so close. So close. Bunch of energy drinks. Requires a lockpick skill of one. Got some electric scrap. Engine parts. Uh, another paddle up there. Says it's better. Confused about the weapon strengths. He did. <laughs> Broke his leg. Well, anyways, um, let me see. Twenty-seven point seven, twenty-seven point seven. All twenty-seven point sevens. Let's take that knife. Ah, 
ID card number one found at Bungalow 4. Hey. This is gonna hurt. Got him. I'm supposed to be murdering everybody, but let's continue with the quest. Somebody's having a bad day. Oh, oh God. Rusty pipe. That's one handed, that's good. I'm sorry. Diving knife? What else could I do? My wife. My, my dad. Oh, fuck, Aww. my own fucking brother. Having a Jesus bad day. Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck? Put him you out want of his me? misery. Let's I had no with. choice. There's always a choice. You chose wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stack my guy up with a bunch of knives, dude. <laughs> this is Tape Roger number one, Howard, starting the investigation assignment on the island of In, Where are we? An Bungalow 11. I told you to stay away. What that's we not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will stop at <laughs> that to zombie to protect their <laughs> criminal enterprise. What's up, White Tiger? It's been a while. How are you doing, man? I'm a trail of recordings wherever I go so that if something oh, were to happen to me, the truth would I still again. be told. I'm leaving now I suck to always. with an informant <laughs> who I believe could rip the lid off of this investigation. All right. You're dead. That's right. Throw a knife in your face and stab you in the face. There we go. Found the lifeguard security guard. Now we gotta go return to cinema to continue passport to life. It's been a while. Uh, stain sucks. Stain? Sucks? What is this? Oh, it's just a plant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, come on. Let's go, let's go. We're trying to get back. Lurking and sleep. <laughs> I appreciate the lurk, dude. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. You are up late tonight, nerd. Call me a nerd. You're a nerd. Well, uh, it must be the glasses, right? But yes, I am up late. Uh, wanted to play some uh, more action-type scary games. Uh, you know, this came into mind because Dead Island 2 will be coming out pretty soon. Takes one to know one. That's right. We can be nerds together. <laughs> but yeah, because of Dead Island 2 coming out pretty soon, the yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I wanted to re, you know, catch up with this game again, with the series. So, if it doesn't mm, take me too long, good in here? I'll go through Dead Island Riptide as well.
Man, this hell looks just like paradise. God. <laughs> this was pretty good for the time that this game came out. This game is okay. Nah, man. It's good. Zombies and paradise, you know? Thank God we found you. No thanks to you. You did it? I did all right. it. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. I didn't see you out there. I kind of feel like Far Cry and that mate. came out around the same time. Nailed mod. <laughs> That's cool. All right. We are not safe New here, quest. Mate. Exodus. Talk to Cinema. Before we do that, there's a exclamation point behind him. This it might be a side quest. Steven, what do you want, Steven? Why the hell did I stay here with Cinemoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? The loss. Find Maggie and tell Steven her location. Difficulty 2, XP 300. Start now. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, <laughs> where, else where the hell am I else gonna am I going to go? Yeah. All right, quest is to go find Maggie. It's in the Book of Revelations. So let's pop open our uh, quest here. Can we track it? Oh, we can't track it. It just says find Maggie. So I'm assuming we'll run into her eventually. We'll continue this quest when we come across it throughout the playthrough. For now, we'll just do Exodus. We need to move. All right, Cinema, let's move. Okay, you ready to go out there again? Yes, I, I am. I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Yes, we can. God of Propane. I still can't believe it's been almost 10 years since the original Dead Island 2 trailer. <laughs> yeah, probably. And God of Pain? Of uh, Propane? <laughs> I said pain. <laughs> what are you? Uh, what's his face? Pinhead. Y'all soft, right? But uh, anyways, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, that's why I'm playing this game because they're talking about Dead Island 2 coming out pretty soon. So that's why I'm getting at this game. I want to refresh on the game. So welcome, and I hope you enjoy your time here, dude. So let's get to the lifeguard tower. Start. Yes. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear. I right, will do you. that. Exodus, go to the lifeguard tower and get rid of all the undead in the area. No thanks to you. Oh, thanks to you what, woman? Oh, okay, you're talking to him. <laughs> running. Keep on running. Kind of want to do exploring, but not really. Just want to complete the game. Oh, I didn't see you there, man. Right in the winky. Deadliest shot. What are you after over here? Why are you hitting this door? Oh. And she's dead. Makes me think there might be some good loot in these rooms. Let's pop all of them open real quick. Oh, there's a crate here. What's in here? Huni diving knife. Oh, well, I did say I wanted all bladed weapons, so let's see what we got. Get rid of that paddle. Yeah, now all we got is that Molotov in our way. And we'll use that to cover up the Molotov. I don't plan on using explosives. Well, continuing with the quest. Paddles, paddles, paddles. You're dead. 
dead. Who's getting attacked? Oh, that car. We got ourselves another knife. Excuse me. And there it is. <laughs> now he's dead. Saved your life, brah. Oh, fuck. 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 Jesus Christ. If you hadn't come along. You, you want to come Paris? with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the water sports rental kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. Maybe. Maybe. There's a table in sight you can use to repair your weapons. Look, take whatever you want. Collectible item found. Benoit Herald excerpt number two. I have to get some rest. So there's a crafting table in here too. Oh, I got stuck for a second. I'll rest up and then head out to meet my wife. I would have died out there without you. Another diving knife. Hell yeah. Hmm. Anything useful? Some duct tape. Repair kit. More duct tape. Some wire. Luke, if you can hear me. Did you make it to the bungalow? It's number 20. Remember? The insulin is in the bathroom. On the shelf. I need it quick, brother. Sounds like we got a quest to do. Bungalow number 20. So good. We got a nice set of knives here. I like that. We can upgrade some of them. Well, one of them actually. Weak diving knife. Eh, why not? We got money. Can't create anything. Look, take whatever you want. I already did. Got a nice set of throwing knives. Alright, let's continue on our quest. Oh, who's freaking out? Somebody's having a bad day. Oh god, I missed. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. That punk. Pick up something here. There he goes. Oh, it's a snack. And down he goes. Next. There he is. I'm invincible. <laughs> All right. 
You dead too? Oh. Nope, you're alive. Yeah. Upgrade unlocked. Let's do that. Let's level up. Increases my throwing range. Uh, I say we work on the damage one handed weapons first. I don't plan on throwing no freaking katana at somebody, you know? It's a two handed weapon, I'm assuming. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, she did. <laughs> right in the butt. Never, never, never. Behind you too. All right, they did. I hear somebody screaming. Somebody running at me. Don't look like it. I hear somebody. It's okay. I saw a little loot box right here. Tiring hammer? Yeah. Uh, nah. Want to keep my knives. Do you know who you're fucking with? Oh, shoot. Out of nowhere. Yeah. It's a little difficult to track how many knives I threw out sometimes. <laughs> but I think I've been picking them up fine. Alright. Here we go. The lifeguard tower, I guess. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to pick up my thing. Excuse me. Thank you. Got him. Got all my knives back. I think. None of these are upgraded. 31, 31, get rid of this one. Alright, let's go here. Yeah, that's a waste of meat. It's just splashing it everywhere. All the good juices, you know? Incredible. Let's do this. Bringing the wood. Ooh. I think he's gonna die with the third knife, actually. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Two, three, and some money. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Cleaver? Let's see, 47, 47, 41, 38. Right, let's replace that one. Jeez, lady. 
coming out of nowhere. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to clear this whole building out. Too bad right now, not too bad. Five dollars for an energy drink. Noi Herald excerpt number three. All right, bound at the lifeguard tower. Poor little fella. All right, let's get out of here. Mayday, mayday. This is Oceanic Flight 1012. All engines are out. Repeat, all engines are out. Ground control. Ooh. Is it gonna crash? Is that all engines are out? This is gonna hurt. Oh, come on. Kick her, kick her. <laughs> I had a poker too, you know. I'm fairly enjoying this game again. Pretty good. Um, nothing. All right, I guess we're going inside, but let's. Check around the corner here real quick. Nothing. Inside we go. Fast travel. Anything useful? Alright. Bunch of That's what you get. You dead? Now you're dead. All right. Contacts in the lab. Hang tight, okay? We're coming right now. Everybody, pack up. We're on our way. Watch the road. We'll be there soon. Something about zombies, I always love playing zombie games. Right. Chapter 2 Busy nice Surviving. Job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Uh -huh. Help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. 
We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. Alright, I'll go do that. Thank you for the knife. Oh, that music is... goes well with this game. Now we got access to a crafting station and a trader as well. Seems like somebody we can sell with down there. Oh, did we level up by the way? Let's check that out. Uh, no, we got no skill points. I want to talk to the guy I can sell. I heard this scourge came from out of space. Wayne. What's up, Wayne? Take the stuff I don't need. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. And the rest of this stuff is for crafting. Do you pick up stuff that you... No. I don't know, like money items? I think there would be a section in your inventory for money items, right? But whatever. Spiteful homemade machete. Dude, we got 12, we got uh, 1200 money already, that's a lot. Well, there's nothing I want to buy. We're good with the weapons we got now. I'm more concerned with skill points. Can somebody help me with this bloody door? All right, we're gonna help Jack out. See what he needs. Remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Quest: Bloody Health Service. Help Jack get into the infirmary. Difficulty 2, XP 500. Let's do it. Sure. I appreciate it. Go on, then. I'm assuming I just have to break the door down, so let's break the door down. One, two, go. Ah. I keep hitting the same spot. There you go, sweet spot. Kill those four bodies. You ain't gonna sneak up on me like that. I won't go in there with those things. Quest updated. Talk to Jack. Painkillers, painkillers, painkillers. Yeah, so, what's that? Nine dollars. Some bandages. Some nails. Uh, looks like we fully looted this place. Let's talk to Jack. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. All the Quest completed. Trashed Bloody or health gone. service. Reward thirty-seven dollars. <laughs> All right. Uh. Well, it seems like he's gonna offer us another quest. Cindy didn't make it. She passed away during the night. What a bloody disaster! Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. Life in the bag. Find an ambulance or a lifeguard vehicle and bring the paramedic's bag to the tower. All right, let's go do that. It's, uh, level three. You got it. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. We're bloody walking corpses. Now, let's go see what other quests we got, so we can do them all at once. Kelly, please, just calm down. All right, Max, what do you got for me? Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Quests, Family Matters, look for Kelly's husband, a concierge named William. All right. Uh, doesn't say where exactly, but it's a difficulty three quest, 700 experience. Yes. 
Let's His name it. is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. Diamond I'm thinking District. Maybe he's hiding so we got out there. Quite a few quests. So, Diamond District bungalows again. Ah, oh, man, Maggie was right. We can't just sit here and wait. Excuse me. All right. Janine? Oh, Janine. <laughs> I think it's Janine. What do you got for me, Janine? I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. Uh, it's in Bungalow 6 in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? Yeah. Just to find your necklace, you got it. Bungalow number 6 in the silver bungalows district. All right, let's do it. Yes. Thank you. Please be careful. Yep, yep, yep. Send me out there to grab a necklace. And you're telling me to be careful. <laughs> yeah, this is Omar in Bungalow 26. I need help here. Come for me and I'll make it worth your while. I promise. Bungalow number 26. Somebody needs help. We'll take a visit there later. Infection is what it is. Let's go upstairs. One more person upstairs has a side quest for us. I don't know, there's somebody downstairs actually. But we got one over here. God damn it, this is hopeless! Dominique, what do you got for me? Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? I definitely can. This quest is called On the Air. Go to the lighthouse and bring back a signal amplifier. You got it. I'll look for that lighthouse. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. All right, next. It's another side quest downstairs. This guy. Come over here. I've got a job for you. Hank, what can I do for this you? This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. A battalion. So, huh? if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out anytime you want. Deal? Deal. So we just got to, uh, check out wrecked cars and bring back some parts. Yes. yes. Excellent. You locate <laughs> those parts. You know where to find me. You got it. I would say the easiest one would be searching those wrecked cars. Oh, we got one more side quest right here. Feel like I'm back in fucking Iraq. Mike, what can I do for you? These bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? Yeah. We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. <laughs> do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Let's get some gas from that station nearby. Ooh, that's the first level five quest we got. Let's do that. Yes. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Oh, okay, so we gotta repair that car before we can do his quest. All right, Mike, we'll get it done. Oh, it seems like most of my quests are gonna be that way. But let me check. Find Maggie. Look for Kelly's husband. The Diamond Bungalows. We got a map that tells us where the Diamond Bungalows are at. How do I know what's what? Just 
Peel, that's for the lighthouse. Oh, what's that? That's the diamond bungalows that way. Alright, so we got a couple quests in diamond bungalows. We do have a quest for finding Maggie. So, we'll see, uh, we'll go to the diamond bungalows. It gives us something more direct to do first. Uh, it seems like the first one we're gonna come across is probably that lighthouse. Ah, uh, screw it. We're gonna make our priority the diamond bungalows. So we activated Janine's quest. That should get us straight to where we need to be in Diamond Bungalows. Quick pause here. Gonna be right back. All right, we'll back. Then notice that looking at the pause menu right here. Chapter two: Busy surviving. Main plot progress: twelve percent. We got some ways to go on this game. And me, I like to do all the side quests, so it might be a while. Let's go. Let's go. Too much time talking. Here's a wreck car. Maybe we can get some car parts. So, wreck car number one. Very nearby. That's one. Continue down the road here. It's another wreck car. I was a little curious about you. You look like you were alive still. Well, you know. Okay. Dead alive. <laughs> Alright. Took care of these two. Wreck car parts. Yep. That's number two for wreck cars. Alright. We're going to continue you down here. Wreck car number three. And we got one running up on us right there. But he ain't no thing. <laughs> All dead. Alright, let me see. Wreck car part number three. There you go. And I would just assume continuing down the road, we're gonna find another one. So we're gonna do that. That's a big one. I think it's a big one. Right? What's he classified as? A walker? Uh, I don't think that's a walker. Oh, I thought he was dead already. Excuse me. What, we can't take these ones? Oh, there it is. Well, that's four. I believe that's all we needed, right? And, yeah, that's it. That's four parts. Now all we have to do is bring it back. But we'll do that after we complete the other quest up here. Take this moment to uh, take care of my level up. And we'll increase one handed weapon damage. Oh, shoot! Oh, something I can use. Yeah, Knife back. Thank you. Yeah, 
they're not gonna get that close to me. Heck no, they're not getting that close to me. Hello. Oh, yeah, here we go. Just down the road, found the ambulance, paramedic vehicle. So in the back over here, bandages, painkillers, painkillers. Open that, but more importantly, the paramedic's back. So, quest updated. Life in the bag. Bring the paramedics bag back to Jack. Yeah, so, from here we're just gonna return back. After we complete the other side quests here. Alright, let me see. Uh, let's continue with ja Janine's quest. I think we went past it though. No, it's in that direction. Still standing. Oh, we got some survivors. Help me, please. Help me, please. Oh, I get to drive this one. Please. Go in reverse. I am. All right, what we got? What we got, lady? Uh, hey. Roger Nelson. Please, my husband. He's bleeding. Can you help us? I can kill him. We need help. <laughs> Jessica Nelson. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming, Roger. I'm coming. Hold on. No what do you soldier, need? brothers. And this is my Ratas? wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Father me said. Forget about it, but I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to <laughs> kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. You gotta believe me. But you know what? I don't believe he you. He took a bite out of me, man. That's right. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Uh, rabies? I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell knows? It's rabies. But, Definitely but can you get rabies. Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Take Jessica, Roger's wife, to James at the lighthouse. I can bring his wife to another dude. What? <laughs> I'll do it. You got it. Bloody Valentine. Start. I'll do what I can. Hey, man. Thanks. You should take her to the lighthouse. You got it. My brother James should be there. At the lighthouse? You take oh, her in. You got it. Alright, let's take those bandages. Well, looks like we're gonna be handling this first. We're gonna take her all the way to the lighthouse. Uh, let's see. Alcohol, alcohol. Wanna loot this place first. Give me a second. Wire. Ten bucks. Seven bucks. Metal scrap. Oh, and here we go. We found Janine's necklace. Quest updated. My precious. Bring the necklace to Janine. So, all we gotta do now is return. But let's help this chick out. We gotta bring her to the lighthouse. Follow me if you want to leave. What are you doing, lady? Do I have to press something to make you follow me? A 
Why aren't you following me? Hey, do I got what do I got a whistle or something? I don't know. What's up? Um let's just move forward then. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I gotta accept the quest. Well track the quest. I am tracking the quest. Drive Jessica to the lighthouse. Okay, okay. I'll drive her. So to do this quest, you gotta drive her over. Yeah. Alright, you getting in now? You in? Get in. I don't know exactly how we're gonna get out of here, but we're gonna try. I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze through. Oh wait, no, there is. Let's drive her to the lighthouse. Remember, Logan's dialogue. This is fucked up. Expert driver. If anyone dies through me driving, that's because they got in the way. You shouldn't have been there. <laughs> Slow down a bit. Sharp turns here. I think we got a live one. No, hey, zombies just learned how to drive a vehicle now. And we are at the lighthouse. Hello. Hello. It's nice to see someone who isn't dead. There are people living in the lighthouse? Apparently. Thank you. Can you check on my husband? All right, quest completed. Bloody Valentine. All right. Goodbye, Jessica. Evan, hi. Hello. Survivor, nice hi. <laughs> Ran out of names. <laughs> can't be. I can't believe you're alive. Trade with Javier. When we left. All right. Let's see. Don't want the nail plank. Get rid of that. Dangerous homemade machete. That sounds cool. The more you look like Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the James. I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. Alright, I'll do I'm that. I'm sure I'll be glad to see you still alive. Where the hell did I put that? James will probably want to talk to you first. Hmm, something in good in here? You should go talk to him. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. We'll do that. We'll do. What is this? This the top of the lighthouse? Alright. Holy shit, you're alive? Yep, I'm alive. Oh, recording. Tape number two. Meeting the I'm informant the collected where I'm at the lighthouse. Informant. I must say, everything seems oddly quiet. I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Yeah. All now, right. We're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. All right, quests knocking on heaven's door. Help the people around the lighthouse. Difficulty four. So I just gotta do a bunch of side quests. I'll give her a shot. Give now, her a shot. If you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? His people. And it's only been like a couple days. They're already walking dead status. <laughs> hey, come a little close. Oh, did that guy have a quest up there? Oh, he did. Hey, come a little closer. All right, Trevor Cohen, how can I help you? Unlike uh, Cinnamoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. 
were more proactive, you know? Oh, oh you're better, I get it. up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Quest. Light my fire. Get four flares from the wrecks on the coast. Difficulty four. Yeah, we'll do it. I can't really turn you down now, Good. can I? And when yes, the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Alright, light my fire. Let's go grab some flares. Side quest. Mick Fleur. <laughs> Not Mick Flair. Alright. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Quest, tell me where it hurts. Find a bottle of painkillers and three bandages for Linda. Now this is a quest we probably already have done. Uh, if you guys didn't see earlier, when we went to the paramedics car, we picked up quite a bit of bandages and uh, painkillers too, I believe. And on top of that, when we were at the, the uh, we call it, the Coast Guard tower thing, yeah, there are also painkillers inside the, yeah, what do I call it, the nurse's station, whatever you want to call it, the med, med bay sick call, I don't know, but yeah, we should already have enough. Yeah. You shouldn't have to go exploring Thank for you. it. There's a wrecked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and oh, medical see? supplies in the lifeguard tower. Lifeguard tower. I'm pretty tower. sure you there can you find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. Well, here, take the ones I got. Here's a painkiller. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. There you go. Quest complete. Tell me where it hurts. <laughs> Give him the painkillers. And he gives you the D.O. Bomb uh, Blueprint. That's pretty cool. Next. Oh. I can't get through. Poor Linda. What do you got Mo for me? Uh, Monica Goldberg. I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. No freaking way, not that giant plane. But, we'll check it out. The quest is called Nighthawk. Look near the jungle for the location of the aircraft. I'll do what I can. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here. Uh, jungle area. So that is a different section of the game. We won't be able to complete this quest until later, until we get to the jungle area. So we'll come back to her once we actually get to the jungle area. That quest is way far ahead before we can complete it. Alright. Uh, let's see, we're missing somebody over here for quests. All right, Darvin Bark. What can I do? We you followed for? James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp, but there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. All right. So quest, a ray of hope. Find Marcus and fix the transformers powering the lighthouse. Difficulty 3, XP, 1200. Let's do it. Let's go save Marcus. Yes. All right, good. The transformers are in the northern part of the gold bungalow area. Gold bungalows. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. <gasps> into the I'm storage Darwin, shed? The All right, cool. Uh, let's go by Marcus. That's all the side quests we can accept in this little particular area, so we're good to go. I would like to pay a visit to the crafting table and see if I can w upgrade any of my weapons, particularly the machete I just bought. Oh, it's behind the storage room. 
He's not gonna let us in there yet. We have to complete the quest. Uh, battery. Bam. Alright, we completed quite a few quests. We're gonna return with the chick's necklace. And we, she asked us to go check up on uh, her husband, the chick we brought back. So we're gonna go check up on him right now. Hit that guy. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Oh, damn! I need to sit down. Ouch. Trying to hit as many as I can. <laughs> Alright, it was here. To go check up on that chick's husband. Let's go see how he's doing. Oh, Roger's body. Alright, he did. Checked up on him. He's fine now. Checking up on him made all the difference. <laughs> it wasn't a quest, though, unfortunately. Alright, Lazarus rising. Got four car parts. Let's bring him over. The sooner you find what I need, the sooner you get behind the wheel of this bitch. That's right. I got it right here, sir. Whoa, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running. God, be nice to me. Alright. So? Quest complete. Next one. All right, we're back here at the lifeguard area. We're gonna bring the necklace back to Janine. Someone does. She's over here sitting down. Doing. Yes, this is it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Here's the reward I promised. I know we're off. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Flimsy slicer. Oh, deals more damage. Heck yeah. Uh, let me see. 70, 68, 49, 49.6. So this is my weaker one. Alright. Next up. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, maybe there's something I can use. <laughs> All right, let's get that quest loaded. All right, so we're back at the uh, lifeguard building. We're gonna be giving the paramedic supplies to Jack. He's over here. There you go. Jack. You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved Anne's. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Level up. <laughs> Unicycle. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Anyways, let's see. Oh, I got another inventory slot open. Oh, heck yeah, we can carry more. Quest complete, guys. Uh, let's see what other quests we got. Diamond bungalows, get the flares, jungle, help the people around the lighthouse, fix, find Marcus and fix the transformers power in the lighthouse, bring fuel, find a way to get inside the lighthouse. Lighthouse warehouse. Oh, to get the thing I needed. Alright, so we can't do one of the quests that's in this area because we need to get into the warehouse. To get into the warehouse, we're going to have to help Marcus first. So I say, let's do the one where we're going to help Marcus. Find Marcus and fix the Transformers power in the lighthouse. Any upgrades we can do to my weapons? Dangerous homemade machete. Let's upgrade that. That'll be my dangerous weapon. That's not equipped though. level up. One-handed weapons, more damage. Boom. It gives us access to the next tier. Condition of weapons. It kill increases damage for five seconds. That's awesome. Decreases stamina cost with one-handed melee weapons. That's good. I can swing more. Alright. Continue... Hoodie Mike. <laughs> What's up, Hoodie Mike? Welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Much appreciated, dude. Much appreciated. Playing through this game and uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do a walkthrough for YouTube. So say hi to YouTube while you're here, man. <laughs> I'll be posting these videos like probably in like a week or so after I complete the game. But thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the follow. Always appreciate it, dude. Let's continue. Uh, the quest that we're going to be working on is actually going to be a ray of hope. We got to find Marcus and fix the Transformers powering the lighthouse. So fixing this would uh, give us access to this next quest called On the Air. Because we have to have access to the warehouse. Morning, fella. Hope you're good. Glad to see someone playing Dead Island. That's right. Well, I'm trying to play Dead Island, refresh myself with this game because last time I played it was probably like 10 years ago or something back when I was in middle school, man. But yeah, looking forward to Dead Island 2 coming out. That's why I wanted to get a little refresher on this game. Some people didn't like it, but nah, dude, it's zombies, man. You can't, you can't complain when it comes to zombies. I love zombies. <laughs> But yeah, it is a great game. Like I was saying earlier to the chat, I'm like, the game itself, um, it's like, where do you find that in like most zombie games? You don't get like all this brightness and like a peaceful area. It's very unique in that sense, but it still keeps it spooky with you. As we're driving over, we're gonna go find Marcus. Up here we go, up here we go. All right, let's get out. Oh, he, <laughs> I was like, what the heck You're happened? Gonna die. He got stuck in the back of my car. All right, cool, dead, dead, dead. He's dead. Awesome. 
This game made me not want to go on holiday slash vacation for a long time. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> not that bad. You know, for some, it would make you want to go on vacation. Uh, want to go on vacation for something like this. <laughs> oh, man. You know those preppers. The zombie apocalypse is coming. Ah, but I'll be ready. <laughs> Uh, uh, for, uh, since, oh, hold on, since you're new to my stream, I am a horror streamer, do a bunch of horror games. I played one earlier, <laughs> before this stream, that kind of disappointed me, but whatever. I wanted more action, been playing too many indie horrors where it's explorative, learn the story, get little jump scares here and there. But, yeah, so, this is my game for some action fun, dude. After the week I've had, I could be down with, uh, hacking some people up. That's right. You got you gotta have some hacks every every so often, man. And this is this is what the zombie games are for, man. It's fun, especially you know. I know I'm like invincible in this game. Hey, too much of a pro. Look at this. Throw that at you. I throw that at you, and I'm gonna throw that at. You. Oh, my bad. Oh shoot! Backhanded me. Took that hand away. Oh, come on. Die already. Really? I walked up to you and stabbed you. Why didn't you die? Hey! <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. This guy's got a foot coming out of his butt right there. It's perfect. Well, anyways, did I get all my weapons back? I'm missing my machete. Oh. Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. All right, Go. Well, I'll love to. I'll love to. But you got my weapon back there with you. God dang it! Did I just lose my good machete? Oh no, here it is. Then this I don't want. Goodbye. But my sickle is back there with them. Dang it. Maybe when it opens up, I can get it back. Oh, what's this? Let me open this puppy up. Sturdy wrench. All right. So we found Marcus. We're going to go all the way over here and try to fix the other generator. Well, transformer. Shouldn't be too hard. I guess we're going down that way. <laughs> it's like throw it or not throw it. Eh. This weapon's kind of beefed up a lot, so should be able to one shot a lot of things. For one, there. Oh, we gotta go in here. Scary, scary. Oh, let's see if I can get this right this time. Nice, I got it. Oh, not nice. Close the door. Close the door. That's right. Turn on the power unit. Alright. Turn on. Turn on. What's in here? Frightening wooden baton. Eh. Found a collectible item. But no herald excerpt number six. Alright, is that it? Or is there one more switch? I think that was it. It's telling us to go back now. 
Ah, oh, great. Damn. You don't burn. Thank you. And thank you. Thanks for playing, guys. I'm a wiener. Spiteful hammer? No, I don't want to be carrying this. Now we gotta make our way back to Marcus, let him know the job got done. All right, everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. Damn, look this at those green you. eyes, man. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. The world's gone fucking mad. Now, we gotta go back to Darwin. I just hope the bloody fuses uh, don't blow. Okay, let's go. Hopefully we can just take that vehicle back. And stay down. Screw it. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, whoa. Woke up the horde. Down, down, and down. Alright, my health is kind of low. Hopefully we can find one of those energy drinks nearby. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you. Continue. Oh, hello. Seems like there's stuff to do here. What bungalow is this? Bungalow 20. Let's open that up. Sucks. That's a bad way to go. Oh, Luke Craig, what's up? Well, anyways, personal ID found here. ID card number 13 here in Bungalow 20. Uh, let's open that. Got some lighter. Anything else around here? No. Alright, Luke Craig, what can I do you for? Please. You gotta take this insulin to my brother, Danny. He needs it. He's in bungalow 14. Please. He's in bungalow 14. All right. Quest is called Too Much Sugar. Get the insulin to Luke's brother, Danny. We'll do that. Yeah. Good. Look, you better go. He's running out of time. You got it, dude. 
I'll be on my way. Silver Bungalow District. Well, you know she's alive. Oh, Rending Claws mod. It's right here. In front of Bungalow 14. Alright, anyways, let's go get that insulin going. Is that right here? Is it this one? It's telling me to go around. Let's go around. Oh, yeah. Come and get it. <laughs> All right, she did. Hello. Got your insulin. There he is. Oh, I'm so worried about you. Danny. What? You don't even know me. Wait, you're not my brother? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. He, he must have sent you, right? Thank you. You're welcome. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. Get out of here. Well, quest completed, too much sugar. Gave us a reward of $231 cash. All right, quick pause right here. Be right back, guys. All right. Let's continue and keep it going. Alright, uh, we just leveled up as well. Let's put that skill point in. I think stamina cost would be more important, so we're gonna hit that one up first. Oh, you can just track everything, really? Oh, no, you can't. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> Looked like I was marking all of them on my map. Let's 
So we'll just continue a ray of hope. Head back. We can take this view since it respawned here, apparently. Oh, hello, zombie. I'll fucking do it again. Sorry, I had to hit him. <laughs> In we go. So here we are, we're back Where at the, the lighthouse. Let's go talk Can to uh, Delvin, something like that. <laughs> Darvin, Darvin, there you go. Okay, if Marcus said it's gonna work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. I don't see no light. <laughs> Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you. Better. You promised. All right. Thank you for the ranch. Ray of hope completed. Now we have access to the storage. So on the air. So now we got access to the lighthouse warehouse. <laughs> Funny thing to say. We should be able to find the uh, signal amplifier. It's over here on the side. By him. Along with uh, other miscellaneous supplies. But now all we have to do is uh, travel back to the Coast Guard tower and we'll be done with the quest. Oh, we need to repair my machete. Forgot about that. Where are you? Where are you? Alright, that's good. All my weapons are repaired now. This will come in handy. New quest accept from Ned. How can I help you, Ned? If you could bring me back some food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. All Find right. me some food and I'll give you whatever I have. So his quest is just get two food cans for Ned. All right. Wind in the stomach. I'll give her a shot. Go. Hurry, see what you can find. Give her a shot. You find anything? Not yet, apparently, but we'll be back, Ned. Did you find the plane? See, there's another quest, but it's upstairs. No. 
We gotta talk to James Stein now. I saw what you did for us, and I won't forget it. Apparently, we helped enough of hey, these people, so thanks for knocking on us. heaven's door. Completed. We couldn't have gotten the lighthouse running without you. And he hey, has another quest for us. Thanks for the lighthouse is back online, but we need to cover all our bases. A few of us started arranging a huge help sign out in the clearing nearby when we were chased off by those fucking things. Now, everyone's too scared to go back out there. But if you could finish the sign for us, I'll make it worth your while. I'm sure you what will. What do you say? All right, quest. Council of Despair. Finish the help sign out in the clearing. Let's do it. Sure. All right, good. But uh, do me a favor. Be careful out there. Well, everybody has to say that, huh? Sending you to your death, but uh, be careful out there. Okay, I'll be right here keeping an eye out. You let me... Right. Did you find the plane? Should be an option for fast travel here. We'll go back to the uh, lifeguard tower. It's running like a dream. This ride is yours whenever you need it. So, ta-da! Hank got our car ready for us. Thank you, Hank. Let's go visit the trader here real quick. I heard this skirt. came from out of space. Everybody thinks somebody else somewhere else is doing better. Painkillers, some bandages. All right. Well, what do we got here? An alien infection. <clears throat> what it is. All right, so we're back at the lighthouse. Let's give this guy. Well, not the lighthouse. We're back at the Coast Guard Tower. We're gonna give uh, Dominique here the uh, array nice maybe we can finally get this fucker to work thanks you're welcome 257 dollars thank you use the ladder what's up here nothing all right Next thing up, let's see what we got. Quest. Get flares from the wrecks on the coast. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go get some flares. Oh, we'll do the gas one too while we're at it. Pick up the flares. Then on the way back, we'll get the gas. supposed to pick up something here. What the heck is that? We got two hands over there. <sighs> this is for you! Alright. 
Oh, so right over here, just on the side. Position on the map. So right here is where the lifeguard tower is. Just over here to the left in the little bar area. You're gonna find the two cans of food for Ned. And here we are. Can of food. Found some money too while we're here. Oh, the can of food. I don't know if anyone can right hear there. me, but if you can, I'm all alone in a bunker on the Cape. Please, I need help. So, triggers another quest right there. <laughs> well, we picked up two cans of food. Let's get it back to Ned. Oh, that didn't look right. I'm going to continue with the quest of getting the uh, flares. this turn that gets me. And this is our stop. She's dead. It's not too bad out here. It's not too bad. a cleaver. Alright, they're down. Almost to the flare area. But we got a skill point. Let's use it again. I missed that. So we should have one weapon over here. And the other one inside this one. Oof. Perfect spot, huh? Get ready. straight towards uh, him instead. 
the heck? Run, jump. Why can't I? Oh, okay. I guess I can just reach it. to get the other flares. As you can see, they highlighted the placement of these. Let's go we'll get another one. Two flares. <laughs> Where were the other ones at? Three flares, and one more. Ah! And there's number four. All done, all that's left is to go back. Quite a long way to go.
got me. Oh, I was trying to hit him. Because he only has one more hit. Make sure I pick up all my stuff. And he's just he's just hanging out. He doesn't care what's going on. Took a while to clear out this area. But here we are. This is where the SOS sign was being made. As you can see, lighthouse is right there. It's just down the path right here. Not too far. So all you're gonna do is come down here, grab these boxes, and place them accordingly. Not too hard. Two more boxes. And if you need to, I would just throw them if it's that far away. <laughs> because you walk slower while carrying those. So just throw them closer. There you go. Quest updated. Council of Despair. Now we gotta go back and talk to James. Ah, the Juggernaut's there again. Is it called a Juggernaut? No, it's called a Thug. What the heck? I was aiming perfectly. I gotta go get that weapon back. Oh, come on. I got no more. Yeah, let's go get that one I missed with, apparently. Oh, what's in here? Oh, maybe there's something I can use. Alright, death by hammer. Store's hammer. Voila, we are back. So, back at the lighthouse, go to this fool, Ned, and give you him two anything? cans of food. Thank you. Thanks. That's perfect. You're a lifesaver. Uh, no reward? I guess not. Keep looking, please. I guess he wants more. Did you find the plane? Did I never talk to you before? I guess I haven't. Steven is looking for me? Oh, I wish he had come with us. I'm worried about him. Could you... Could you please tell him that if you see him? 
that I miss him, and, and I wish you were here with me right now. Alright, quest updated the lost. So I guess we found Maggie. She's uh over here at the lighthouse. Now we just gotta go let Steven know back at the um whatchamacallit? Coast Guard Tower that she's here. Might as well grab some extra supplies if they respawn. Just the wire? Oh, did I lose the stick? Oh man, that sucks. That stick was good. It's actually why I prefer the bladed weapons because they stick to the enemy, Can't so you know where look. to pick them up at. Anyways, we fixed the SOS sign, so we're going up here to speak with James about it. It's done. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, look, you're more than welcome to stay here and wait for help with us if you want. Uh, and here's your reward. You earned it. Thank you. So, completing Council of Despair, you get awarded the Torch Mod. Nice. Alright, so we already got the flares. Now we return back here with Trevor Cohen. Give him the Cinemoy's flares. Cinemoy's boys aren't doing a damn thing to prepare. Not like we are. Here, take this. Okay, Just a well, token. We get it, dude. We get it. Quest completed. Light my fire. And he just gives me a debilitating nail hammer. Does more damage than my other ones, so yeah, we'll take it. And we leveled up. Then we can decrease the stamina cost for throwing weapons here. I am. Next thing we can do is start upgrading our uh, sharp weapons. And once we get this one, it says we can stomp on heads. Precise hit on heads and inflict 5% more damage. So it's going to get better pretty soon. Did you find the plane? Alright, so we found Maggie here. You're gonna go over here to the fast travel map and just fast travel to the lifeguard tower. Where is it? Where is it? So. Once you fast travel over here to the lifeguard towers and go inside this lower level, and you can go talk to Steven. And let him know what, what's going on. You found her? They're still here. Fuck it then, I'm out of here. That's right. And he rewards you with $63. <laughs> All right. Quest completed. Alright. I heard this skirt. Urge came from. space.
prepping up my character for the next few things that are going to come our way. something I can use. Alright, let's see. Ashes to ashes. Alright guys, so from here in the lighthouse, well, let me start again. Actually, guys, from here in the uh, <laughs> lifeguard tower, and once you have the uh, car ready to go, we're gonna go do the quest ashes to ashes, get some fuel so we can start burning the bodies. And you can track the quest location, so make sure you have that queued up. Oh god, oh god. crash here again. <laughs> Just wanted to hit that guy. This guy too. Cool. And here we are. squeeze in here so it can just drive out. There you go. Hey! Hey you! Go over to the door! Uh, give me a sec to open it. Alright, I'll give you a sec. What, you want gas? Uh, sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. You know, maybe there's another way in. They try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. Yo, know, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. Mm-hmm. Alright, quest update, ashes to ashes, turn on the gas pumps. Let's go do that. Oh. Who wants some of this? Stay down. He did say bring the gas can with us, but how am I supposed to bring that with us? Oh, it's not here. It's probably on the roof then. Do 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 do. Hello, sir. Yeah. 
I'm always worried I'm gonna lose the hammers because they just bounce everywhere, dude. Hmm, anything useful? Door is open. Can't lock pick anything. That was not fair. But at least I was one step ahead. This blockade. Should have my vehicle there already, so let's just get these gas cans filled up. We weren't sure we'd ever see you. So, be careful when you're doing this. A lot of them coming at you. But, I'm doing this uh, quest while progressing through the game. I'm not overpowered or anything, so... You doing it should be easy enough. Just be careful. I don't know how much gas that guy wanted. I guess I only needed one. Alright, well that's done. We weren't sure Gas we'd fueled. See Let's talk to these guys, let them know it's safe. You did it! Unbelievable! Thank you. We really appreciate what you're doing. Well, let me in there. I see you got some canned food. And some juice boxes, too. <laughs> hmm. Anything good in here? Well, let's go bring the fuel back. Turn always gets me. Get out your vehicle, grab that fuel can right here, and you can see that he has a little silhouette of where the gas can needs to be placed. Hurry it up. These fuckers are stuck. So just talk to Mike. Hey, thank you. You're this welcome. should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. 
I got the bodies piled up figure. outside. Guess we better do this. Oh, he's all upset. Oh no, he's covering his nose. He just thinks. <laughs> So, quest completed. Ashes to ashes. And looks like we're going upstairs to talk to Mike again. There he is. And he awards you a Molotov. But unlocks another quest for him, it looks like. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out, though. You need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails, if you catch my drift. So, quest. Fiery drinks. Acquire five bottles of alcohol. Absolutely. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. So you wanna burn those bastards or what? So to complete the quest, fire your drinks. <laughs> Five alcohol bottles aren't too hard to find. You can find them at the bars. And once you have enough, just come back here. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. And you can keep doing it repeatedly. So that's the benefit of uh, talking to this guy. Good. I'm gonna need some empty need whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. At the same time there should be it. some around here. All right. Continuous events. You can keep bringing that guy canned food. You can keep doing fiery drinks. We're not going to keep doing it. Family matters. We have to go to the diamond bungalow. But we're not going to do that on this stream. I'm going to be ending it here, guys. We got how many stuff to finish? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 quests completed. Not bad for our first stream of uh, Dead Island. But as far as the main story goes, look at that. We only got 12% progress. <laughs> it's because we're doing everything as we go. I don't know if there's specifically a save, but I think it's just quit. But thank you guys for being here. The stream was fun. Thank you for all the new follows that I attained during this stream. You guys are awesome, man. You guys are awesome. Appreciate the support. You guys got any recommendations for horror games I should be playing? Or horror games you would just like to see? But, you know, I know some people aren't too fond of horror games, but they do enjoy the story and watching people play. Let me know. I'll try them out. I'll be happy to find a game that actually gets me uh, jump scared, you know? Uh, join my Discord if you'd like to talk to me there. Otherwise, message me here on Twitch. But, again, thank you guys. So it's been fun. And as always, take care. Stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next stream.